So there are some additional options that I want to cover in the capture window. This section down in the lower right called capture. There's two buttons, in and out and, and tape. And let's start with the in and out. So I'm just going to start playing and I'm going to mark an in and out, a range of the clip that we want to capture. And uh, you can just hold down that out button or hold down the O key or press the out number of times to keep extending it. And, uh, and so let's mark the little section there. Now I've got a section that's about 12, 13 seconds long and pause for a second. And now when I click the capture in to out button, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically capture just that section I marked. So it's going to rewind the tape. You see it's seeking. It's backing up right now to find the beginning. It gives itself a little bit of pre-roll. So you got to be careful not to start something like this at the very, very beginning of the tape because it needs to back up a little bit. And now it's going to start capturing right now. So it starts capturing and then it's going to capture for 12, 13 seconds and we can watch it go. And when it's done, it's going to automatically stop. Let's just give that another second or two, 11, 12, 12, 27, boom, it stops and it pops open the save captured clip. Now notice this is not the log clip button. This one says save captured clip because the clip has already been saved. And now you're just naming it. Now notice that it had that log note information in there from before. It honestly shouldn't have that. I, I think it's kind of a mistake because I think that you know each clip should have a unique log note. And by carrying the same log note over from clip to clip, every time you click go, it should refresh that. Uh, anyway, that's my opinion. But anyway, uh, in this case, so it saved it. We go, we're just, I'm just going to delete it manually. And then and I'll click OK. And oh, notice it said that the clip was already it was the same name. So we have to uh, manually go in there and give that a different name. Let's just go ahead and do that. And when we say OK, it adds the clip to our browser, our project panel there. You see it down there. So it's actually added that clip to the project panel. And that clip is now ready to edit, right? So we captured, marked the in and out, and then we captured it. The other button here that says tape, in this case, what's going to happen is when you press, when you click tape, it's going to just start recording the tape from the current position. It's not going to automatically rewind or anything. It's just going to start recording. And then it's going to capture the entire duration of the tape until either the tape runs out or you press escape. And this is, again, a very quick and easy way to capture the whole section without having to think about it too much. You know, basically, you, you, you can just capture the, the whole tape. And then when you're done, it, you, it'll give you the chance to name it. But uh, I want to give that point out one really important feature, this thing called scene detection. Scene detection is a way of automatically breaking up your long capture into individual clips based on when your camera was started and stopped. So but every time you start and stop the camera, presumably you're pointing at a new subject, the software can analyze the footage while it's capturing it. And if it recognizes that more than 70% of the frame is different, you know, if you're pointing at a suddenly pointing at a totally different uh, image, it recognizes that and it creates a brand new clip to identify that new section. So that's what that uh, scene detection is basically what you could call start stop detection. And what it'll do is I, I can't demonstrate it with this footage because this is all one long continuous take, but it would create a number of separate little clips in your project panel, each one representing each time on that tape that your camera started and stopped. Now you don't get the advantage that you did when you did the manual logging uh, where you could identify just the sections you want and, and skip over the sections of junk. The other benefit you don't get is that it's really a good idea to watch your footage. The more times you watch your footage, the better your edit, the better an editor you're going to be. The more you're going to know inside and out what you're what you've got to work with. And so by going through and logging your footage, marking in and outs, giving names, giving comments for each of the sections of your tape that are really worthwhile, that's going to really give you a leg up when it comes time to start organizing your footage and then start editing it. But we all know that some of us don't want to go through that time where, you know, you want to just get the whole tape captured so that you can look at it digitally, you know, eject the tape and disconnect the camera from the computer. And if you want to do that, then click this tape button. It'll capture the whole thing. And then you can go do that manual logging and adding comments and adding names after the footage has already been captured. So these are the tools available to you in this capture window. A lot of really powerful stuff if you're working with footage from tape. Now, one last thing, if you don't have device control, if you want to capture from a, a, a VCR or something where the, there's no way to make the computer control the deck, you can do that too. If you choose your Premiere Pro Preferences device control and you set that to none, 
When that's set to none, basically what will happen is you can open that capture window. I don't actually have anything connected right now, but it won't say device control. And all you can really do is you press play manually on your deck. So you press the button on your actual tape deck to start it playing and then just click this capture button. And Premiere Pro is going to capture whatever footage is being sent in through the capture card or however you're connecting it through the computer. If you had a like a little uh, black magic makes a little device that takes analog signals and turns them into digital signals and it connects via firewire or usb or something and anyway so if you have a device that will let you capture but does not have device control start and stop it using the controls on the deck and then just click the the record button and the stop button here in the capture window to get the section that you want uh, onto your computer and it will be saved just like the others as a file in your pro project panel